the jungles of South and Central America are home to a tricky little mimic. These adorable predators rule the treetops with an overly fuzzy paw. This is the most arboreal cat in the world, the trickster of the trees, the tamarind's bane, the margay. The margay, or painted cat, is the middle child of the Leopardus genus, fitting in between the smaller oncilla and the larger ocelot. If ocelots are mini jaguars, then margays are mini ocelots. Ocelots can weigh up to 15 kilograms, while a margay will weigh at most 4 kilograms. Despite being roughly a third of the size, a margay can be hard to tell apart from an ocelot, but the big clue is their eyes. Margays have giant puss in boot eyes that stand out much more than an ocelot's. While the ocelot's size and adaptability have allowed it to conquer a myriad of terrain, the margay is a specialist. And their area of choice? The treetops. Margays are one of the, if not the, most arboreal cats in the world. Allowing them to conquer such a physically challenging habitat are a series of evolutionary adaptations. First and foremost, their feet. Jungle trees are full of twists and turns, and only the most dexterous of species are able to navigate them with any sort of skill. It's this demanding habitat in which New World monkeys, with their prehensile tails and opposable thumbs, thrive. Similarly, margays have evolved their own tools to get around. They have ankles that can turn up to 180 degrees. This, in combination with their sharp claws, allows them to descend trees head first, greatly increasing their agility in the tree canopy. They also have very long tails, which allow them to balance in the treetops, a key tool in hunting their prey of choice tamarinds, and other New World monkeys. In order to traverse the jungle canopy with any speed, you have to be able to make decisions very quickly and adapt to new situations at the drop of a hat. Branches may not lead where you expect, and prey species may be more familiar with their territory than you are. If you're not smart, they'll outmaneuver you. Margays are very intelligent, and while they are experts in navigating the trees and can jump up to 3.5 meters horizontally, they know that sometimes it's smarter to let the prey come to you. These cats are tricksters. Instead of chasing down prey, they've been known to mimic them instead. One cat was seen mimicking the vocalizations of a baby tamarind, although poorly. And when the adult showed up to see what was going on, it pounced. While the jungle canopy provides a lot of different prey options, like bats, birds, and monkeys, they will venture more into the territory of their larger cousins, the ocelot, when the opportunity is right. This margay has spotted something moving on the ground. A rat! She starts to make her way down the tree. Having not seen the margay descending from the canopy, this rat's day is about to get a lot worse. The margay silently advances. Its massive paws help mask the sound of its approach. She pounces. But this rat isn't going down without a fight. The rat jumps, kicks, and bites, trying to ward off its attacker. It looks like the rat might make it out alive. But at long last, the margay gets a hold of the rat's neck and crushes its windpipe. A good day for the margay is good night for the rat. Margays are nocturnal and usually spend their days asleep in the trees, but this opportunity was too good to pass up. With their giant eyes built for night vision and their giant paws built for climbing, it's easy to say that these are the cutest predators in South and Central America. But something that makes them even cuter 
their fur. Like their cousins, their coats are covered in dark rosettes and streaks, meant to mimic dappled sunlight on the jungle floor. But they have an added feature. They have extra fuzzy fur, but no one really knows why. In fact, in Brazil, they are colloquially known as gato peludo, which means extra furry cat. Unfortunately, this coat is one of the reasons why they are listed as a near-threatened species. Their coats can be a hot item on the black market, and thus make margays a popular target for poachers. They also suffer much more so than their less arboreal relatives from deforestation. Massive areas in their range can no longer sustain them or their prey due to fragmentation, deforestation, and urbanization, and their populations are only healthy in the Amazon basin. As we continue to segment their populations by dividing them with roads, farms, and cities, their numbers will continue to decline. What should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments.